it really comes to this senses From any from think you have to pursue their fitness Cause you can't be a Christian and be booty licious That's why I'm married of course and I carry the cross down the aisle in my wedding like I'm married of course Seen in the course ready to stop famine and more And knock it out cause I'm violent Snitching it by force Let's oh. knock it out So put those fists in the air Cause inception in the spirit and spirit in the air Let's knock it out Yo we fighting back in here through witnessing and prayer Hi, welcome to another Krav Maga video, 8th Krav Maga program. Today we're going to talk to you a little bit about ground weapons. Um, there's a lot of stuff in terms of weapons that we're not going to really have time to deal with as far as this is kind of add-on or in addition to everything that we've already built on for weapon systems standing. All right? You have some complications when you're on the ground. Uh, one of the main complications is that you don't have the ability to move. Okay. Um, if he's pointing a gun at me, if he's pointing a gun at me, I want to be able to affect the line of fire one way as well as move my body too simultaneously. I have a, a very difficult ability to do that uh, when I'm on the ground. Okay, so we're going to talk about that a little bit. Also, uh, the knife is also problematic um, because a lot of things we deal with the knife, all right. Is once we get into this position here, we're goal, our goal is to wrap the weapon arm. And I have the ability to keep it off my neck and yet still have control and be striking. And on the ground, pulling the guy in close could also result in getting cut a lot. So um, I saw this the other day. Um, a Krav Maga instructor from a different organization was posting about knife survival and weapon survival on the ground. And one of the things that he said that is most important is having that mindset to flip into a super aggressiveness with the idea that you might be getting cut or you might get shot, all right? So that's one of the most important ingredients, I believe, all right? Obviously, the priorities, getting out of the line of fire, controlling the weapon arm, those priorities are still important. But in addition to those, even before te technical uh, importance, because there's a lot of different techniques. Uh, I, I might have a set of techniques that are completely different from you who've been training Krav Maga, a totally different set of techniques, and both might work, all right? Also, Neither will work if the person who's in the defense, whoever the defender is, is not able to flip into an aggressive position. Because otherwise, you're, in a, you're, you're a sitting duck. You're, you're in a position where you're going to die. All right? well, the idea of a sitting duck is that the guy with the gun has the advantage. All right? So you've got to move. All right? um, you cannot, you cannot, this is not a static thing. You can practice this slow without stress, but then I would encourage you to gear up and practice where you're actually hitting the knife guy um, the person on the ground is actually hitting the knife, guys, so that you can actually really see, oh, there's the effect of getting punched in the face, at least a little bit. All right, so let's talk about gun first. Just put that off to the side. All right, most important priority with a gun, obviously, there's a couple different things that we want to think about in terms of weapon or gun defense. One is you want to, uh, you want to clear the line of fire. Another one is, move, like we just talked about, moving the weapon line of fire one way and moving you the other way, okay? So we're going to still try to implement that even though it's going to be uh, much worse on the ground. All right. <clears throat> also, another strategy we've got to keep in mind, too, is the ground strategy, which is our Krav Maga strategy for ground, is we got to get up off the ground as fast as possible. Okay? So I'm going to start from a negative one position. Uh, we have a number system, and basically the reason for this is because um, the goal of Krav Maga is not to, you have to be a black belt in jiu-jitsu in order to do Krav Maga. This is people, you're teaching Krav Maga to people who know a little bit of self-defense and you're trying to give them some strategies that are simple that will save their life. All right, so gun is pointed, okay? One of the similarities between this position here to negative one is also a standing position. It's 
almost identical, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna redirect the line of fire. Again, I'm using like, pretending like I'm doing a throat strike, I'm gonna be hitting the line of fire here. The reason I don't grab here is because this grabbing motion, I might not be able to redirect the line of fire, but when I grab the weapon, I can immediately redirect the line of fire, okay? Simultaneously, my body's gonna get out of the way. Now, keep in mind, if this thing, as soon as I move, this is going off, and now it's gonna ricochet somewhere, and if there's, this is uh, it's shooting the ground, and stuff could spray and hit me, I might have the effect right away of, boom, a feeling like I might think I'm getting shot because all of a sudden little stones are flying into my eyes. So you, now once you got this though, you have the advantage of now you have sensitivity or you have feeling on the weapon, okay? So now your other hand should simultaneously go to where the back of the weapon is, all right? So it's not one, then drive, then two. It's all simultaneous, one, all right? From here, I have the weapon. My arms are locked out. If he's gonna try to pull back and secure the weapon, I immediately want to scramble and kick and kick and, and take the weapon. And now from this position, I'm going to get to a standing position, all right? Let's use a different type of gun. Where's the other blue gun? I'd say one thing problematic about some training weapons, and this is a good point to bring this in, is this training weapon is rubber, it's soft, and it's very pliable, which is good if you're hitting somebody. It's not as painful as a hard gun. But you want to try to get some hard plastic guns or metal, like we have a metal training gun, because now you can actually feel, when you hold on to the grip, it's different than when you're doing this with a soft rubber gun, it's just going to bend. All right? <clears throat> All right? So here, that's first move. I'm grabbing and grabbing. Now, I'm not just peeling because one of the principles of our Krav Maga is that you have to cause damage. Three things you always want to be doing. You want to disbalance them, you want to cause damage, and you want to disrupt the thought process, okay? Another way of saying it is inflict pain. I like to say damage just because I like to say the three Ds. Damage, disrupt, and, and disbalance, all right? So anyways, from here, here, and now he's fighting. So now as he's fighting, you're kicking, going for the groin, going for the armpit, going for the face, wherever you can. I'm getting back, and I'm getting up, okay? This is very important, reactionary distance, okay? Um, if you don't have reactionary distance, what's gonna happen is you're gonna end up, uh, you're gonna end up in a big amount of trouble because he's just gonna tackle you, especially on the ground, and you're gonna be, he's gonna get the gun from you. All right, next one. Uh, gun on negative three, positive three, all right? Can you scoot this way, scoot that way. All right, now the problem with this, there's an added problem. The idea of being able to move out of the line of fire is gonna be more difficult because he's sitting on me. First of all, whether or not there's a weapon or not, if you let somebody sit on you, you've already wait, you've already screwed everything up because you want to begin to start fighting back. As soon as you fall to the ground, your thoughts should be get up as fast as you can. Don't wait for the guy to mount you, okay? So from this position here, same principle, okay? I gotta get out of the line of fire. Okay, there's a couple different ways to do it, okay? I'll show you the way I think is the simplest, okay? One is number one number one, however you decide to clear. I'm gonna to try to shoot my body the other way even though it's gonna have a limited success, all right? Second thing I need to do is I'm gonna throw my hips up, I'm gonna bridge, and throw the gun forward like this, right here. And then I'm gonna really roll, and now I'm gonna be able to strike here, okay? If you do it fast enough, it really throws your opponent, but you gotta be careful in training. Hit, hit, and get up, all right? And now you have a reactionary distance between you and the bad guy. Again, let's do it this way. Again, everything else is not, everything else is secondary. You know, if this was no weapon involved, I'd immediately strike for the groin because his groin is exposed. But if I do that with a gun, he's going to pull the trigger and I'm going to get shot. So here, 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 take the gun, hit, hit the groin and get up and get distance, okay? So that is gun defense from a negative one and gun defense from negative three, okay? Uh, we'll come back and I'm gonna show you the knife defense in a second.
we're gonna, oops, we'll do it again. <laughs> Take two. We're gonna clip these, the middle part out. All right, so we're back now. We're gonna talk about knife, knife fighting on the ground. There's a lot of complex things and there's some simple things. We're just gonna talk about the simple things first. Um, and obviously your, your biggest problem is the fact that the longer you're on the ground, a guy pulls a knife out, you're gonna be dead very quickly. Um, there's a story that I heard in one of our crowd instructor trainings where a police officer was actually attacked with a knife on the ground. He was a black belt in jiu-jitsu, so he knew lots of ground strategies. And actually in that process, he had a whole team of SWAT guys surrounding him and was still not able to defend an attacker with a knife, okay? Again, knife on the ground, gun on the ground, very, very deadly, okay? So your goal is if you can inflict pain or cause damage, to the bad guy as fast as you can. That's the that's the thought process that we want to we want to disrupt. Okay, it's like pushing the reset button on a computer. The techniques are secondary to that. If you're not affecting him, if you're just blocking, he's going to attack again. You're just blocking, he's going to attack again. Also, you need to get up off your back as fast as you possibly can. Okay, um, all the target areas stay the same. All right, so. If a guy came at you, we have some different strategies if a guy's standing, okay? So if he came at you like at an angle or whatever, I'm going to do what's called 360 block. Okay, from here, a standing position, I would wrap underneath. Now I affect damage, and then I would take the guy out with a, with a, a neck break or take him down and try to disarm the knife. I have different options. So when you're on the ground, you don't have all that options. You're already on the ground. You're already in a very negative position. All right, so let's, let's talk about here, okay? Um, from this position here, from the negative one, one of the things that there's a problem is you're in the fight, right? All of a sudden, the knife comes out. A couple things could happen from this position, okay? Number one, okay, uh, one of the things we don't like to do in Krav Maga is grab the wrist at all, even with a knife. But if you have the ability to from a knife threat, you can do that. If the guy's just holding the knife in front of me, one of the things I can, I can grab the wrist, and now I literally can try to I can try to take this knife here, but I have to be very careful to see how close I'm getting to myself. Okay, so um, what I would try to do basically is simulate the same kind of uh, position I would be from a standing position, is I'd be pulling this arm in as much as possible. If I just have the wrist and he pulls away, he's cutting me. Okay, if I just pull the wrist and I pull it close to my face, he's going to cut my throat. Okay. These are problems I have to deal with, okay? The other hand is, well, what options do I have? He, he shows the knife, right? I hit, I could, I could try to hit this. I could try to do a wrist lock, okay? But again, it's gonna be very fast motion. The things need to be done very quickly, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab, and I'm literally, as soon as I have it with two hands, I'm gonna kick the face or I'm gonna kick the groin, whatever I can reach, okay? If that doesn't work, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the arm in, and then I'm going to try to affect him, but see how I'm holding his arm? I'm affecting him, boom, boom, and now I'm going to take the knife from here, try to get away, all right? Obviously, I rolled. The way I rolled was not the best because I showed my back, but so if you can, get up like this, that's even better. All right, come back. Again, the strategy is simply, he's showing you the knife, okay? He's, he's threatening you. The knife is not slashing around, okay? If he's slashing around the knife, I'm probably just going to cover, okay? And also just try to get away. And probably get cut in the process, okay? But in this position, he's, he's just holding the knife. I have the ability to grab onto it. The other thing you could do too is if you can grab the leg, you can pull and try to go for this arm or a leg position. Where now I can arm bar him and try to get the knife away in this position as well, all right? Again, I'm no black belt in jiu-jitsu, garment jiu-jitsu, uh, so I wouldn't probably do that myself, but some of you guys might be, and that might be an option for you. All right, so the knife is being held. Again, I'm gonna grab two hands on the knife. I'm gonna begin to pull myself away, and I'm gonna try to, literally try to peel this knife out of this guy's hand as fast as possible. Or, wrap the guy's arm, and then I'm literally trying to attack, but at the same point, I got my hands, two hands controlling his arm, okay? So that's knife threatening, kind of like in the air. Now let's talk about on the throat, all right? Go this way, all right? This way too, the knife is on the throat. Could be here, or could be here, all right? If the knife is on the throat this way, 
One thing that's nice about the knife this way, I can just pop the arm this way and pull the arm in. Now I can pull his face again. Again, I'm using all of my body to get the knife, okay? If the knife is on the other way, all right, from this position, pulling it here, again, the same problem exists that as soon as I go here, maybe strike him, he could be pulling this knife away, okay? So if you're going to strike, you've got to be fast, and you want as fast as possible to get two hands on the knife, okay? So here, all right, I don't like that. Personally, I'd rather go for two hands on the knife, and I'm going to twist. This is what I'm going to do. And then try to get the knife away here and get up. All right? Let's talk about from the negative three. This is a little bit easier. I've seen this in a lot of different Krav trainings. And here's the, here's the thing, too, about the knife. If it's too complicated a technique, some of you might see some, oh, that's, you're going to get cut. Yeah, you are going to get cut, possibly, if you don't move fast and if you don't attack, all right? Truth is, if the guy goes to pull a weapon, you should be attacking before the weapon ever deploys, okay? Um, from this position, the guy's sitting on you. All right, you're gonna go with this one second. All right, and he begins to strike down. You are gonna deploy 360 block. That's the same thing you're gonna do. The only difference now, as he's striking, go ahead. He's striking, right? Boom, if you can hit him, and then I'm gonna break. Same thing, striking, all right, and try to take the knife away. You can't get to a standing position. All right, I'll have him do it to me. Doesn't matter which side it is. It's one side 360 this way, one side here, straight out in front of you. You're just protect, you're protecting the throat for the most part. You want to, you can survive a cut, but you cannot survive a cut to a vital area, all right? The throat, the wrist, things you've got to be careful about. The guy is sitting on top of you, you have limited options. Go ahead. So, the let me just show him the bridge. Show him the bridging without anything. This is the same kind of bridging that you would do in any ground situation in order to get out, get the guy off the ground. The difference is, you're doing it, when you bridge, you're bridging with your arm up with the 360. All right, here, slide over here. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna come with this way just so we roll the right way, you're still in camera. So I'm trying to kill him, I'm striking down, he's throwing 360 block up and he's not gonna sit there because eventually I will get through his arm, okay? Again, you want to consider the fact that this might be a small woman underneath and a very large man on top, okay? So, as soon as you strike, now you need to be bridging. Boom. All right? Now, when, see what, how, what he did correctly is that when he turns to, to the upper position, the priority is not him getting into the, into the positive one or the, the guard position. It's, it's the fact that he's trying to pin this weapon arm. He's going to get two arms here. And just begin to strike, not yeah, strike this as much as possible. Boom! Now this is going to cause the weapon to come out of my hand. Now, once he has the knife, his next uh, option was going to be, or his next strategy is going to be get up. All right, and he's going to explode up. All right. So while that doesn't cover all the options, um, that covers some of them, and we're going to leave you with that as far as ground survival with the knife. Most important part of the knife. And most important part of gun defense is exploding up out of the negative and getting into a positive position. You want to flip the tables as fast as possible. All right. Um, my name is Sifu Mark Masari, and that's all for today. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. She's punching. All right. She's coming straight down the center line towards me. Forget this day. Yet we go forward to defend freedom and all that is good and just in our world. Thank you, good night, and God bless America. God bless America. And we
we blame the president He's the only one to become a man with in office to see God's counsel In the midst of all this George Bush is pushed To reach the burning bush and pray Christ won't be overlooked Cause it's America No America bless God America stand up America love God Cause it's America No America bless God America wake up America praise God Cause it's America No America bless God America stand up America love God Cause it's America No America bless God America wake up America praise God Cause it's the of the country Founded a call but little by little Turn around and evolve and become American Set the city abroad It's like we're, we're in a mask Give 